Fox Carolina is committed to you, and the number of people killed after being hit by a car continues to grow, and that's why there's new efforts in the works to create more safe conditions on the roads and near the roads. Our Lindsay Gibbs is live in Greenville with how Lindsay. Hey, good morning, Ashley. And the city of Greenville is doing a pedestrian safety survey across 64 roads here in North Pleasantburg Drive. That's where we are this morning. That's just one of the roads being looked at. What they're going to do is assess how many people travel along these roadways and how potentially dangerous it could be. Now, they're going to take a look at how close these sidewalks are. You can see this one just feet away from the roads, as well as many other factors in their assessment. Now, they tell us the overall goal is to reduce the number of crashes um, or near misses in involving people on the side of the road. The Greenville City is partnering with the consulting company Stantec, who is conducting the study. Now it's going to look at the 64 roads across Greenville, then rank them based on how many people travel down the road or sidewalks, along with how dangerous it is or be. Uh, one way they're doing this is by looking at collision data and conditions of the area from the police department and SEDOT. We actually got a chance to speak with one woman who works near one of the corridors in the study, Augusta Street. Uh, she tells us some roads on our way to work don't even have sidewalks. Going down Dumbo, they got a few sidewalks. They need to do something about them. All the way down to St. Francis, you have to step out in the street just about. Uh, Dunbar is one of the streets that are, is included in this study, but we do know the focus will be highly traveled roads in school zones like Haywood Road, Lawrence Road, and Main Street, and school zone streets like Betty Spencer Drive, East Park Avenue, and Fair Forest Way. That is just to name a few of them. Now, what we do know is the city and the consultant company, they plan on having a series of pedestrian meetings, um, or public meetings, excuse me, so people can come in and put in their input on how they should move forward. Of course, they hope to wrap up the whole study by the end of the year. Brian.